Hi, I'm James Barry and I'm here with Morris this afternoon. And I've got a question for him, something that's been baffling me. Morris, I, no I noticed that in a lot of the magazines these days, and it seems to be the latest vogue in the wood turning business, is these carbide insert tooling jobs. And it says it never needs sharpening, which I could never understand because as far as I'm concerned, everything eventually needs sharpening. And they are disposable blades, which again, if they're carbide, I don't personally believe in anything being disposable. Now, if I've got the ability when I'm sharpening a router cutter, for instance, so we put that there and I'm purely working on the flat side to sharpen a router bit here. So the flat side there is sharpening that shape all the way around and that's how you sharpen router bits very successfully and prolong their life by about tenfold. If we have something like a thousand grit precision, and when I say precision that actually is pre-ground plus or minus half a thou on the substrate, and I put a little bit of the petroleum based lapping fluid on there, but this even being such a fine stone, has the ability to cut carbide so, and we can sharpen flat on flat there, why do you think we can't sharpen these so-called disposable blades? Yeah. I have no idea why the, why the advertisement says they need to be disposed of, because what I do is... I use the six to six hundred to a thousand grit, and I take the carbide bits on the machine and stone, and just with very little pressure, rub it back and forth, hand it back to the tool operator, and let them continue working. It's that simple. Well, you can see the material that's being removed. Yeah, yeah. That's as simple as it can. So, get. really, with any of this shape tooling. For turners, it's very, very simple and straightforward to maintain. Just very, very simple. Very simple. It's the easiest tools to sharpen. The uh, 